If there's a miracle that people associate with the story of Jonah, it's of course him being three days and three nights in the belly of that fish and then coming forth alive to go and preach in Nineveh. Now, not to discount the miraculous nature of that, but there's an unnoticed miracle in the story of Jonah. It's what happens in chapter 3 when he finally gets to Nineveh and preaches. He calls out, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And people, from the lowest to the highest, all the way up to the king, were repenting at this word of Jonah. Now that's a miracle. Jonah, who didn't even want to be there, the most reluctant preacher in the Bible, who couldn't even stand the people to whom he preached, who in fact wanted God to destroy them, they believe and they repent. It didn't depend upon Jonah. It didn't depend upon what was going on inside him, this preacher, but instead it depended upon the preached word. That preached word was used by the Spirit of God to work repentance and faith in the heart of the people of Nineveh. And it's the same still today. Thank God for good preachers. Thank God for faithful preachers. But God uses preachers of all varieties who preach his word in order through that word to do the work that he wants to do within our hearts, calling each of us to repentance, calling each of us to faith in order that that miracle of new birth that only is worked by the Spirit might take place in each of us just like it took place in the people of Nineveh.